Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of To Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I'm going to share this with you about substance abuse. And let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine you've been buried alive. Let's say you're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to open the coffin and push the enormous weight of the dirt above you. You think about giving up and waiting for death, but you also think about banging on the coffin lid and maybe you can unsettle the dirt upon the lid and maybe, just maybe, someone on top, standing by your grave, might notice and start digging their way down to help you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are probably people standing by your grave, but you don't know that. You're just waiting for death to arrive. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever come across your mind when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that you would take something so precious, give, uh, so precious given to you by the Lord Jesus Christ, your life, away from yourself? You take your life away from your children, your husband, your wife, your partner. With this, I want to leave you with one last thought. Don't be the person on these cards that I'm reading that's laying in a coffin, alive, waiting for death to arrive, waiting for that last breath, banging on a lid, hoping that someone on top by the gravesite notices the dirt unsettle and start digging their down, uh, way down. Instead, be a person that wants help immediately, that will seek the help by calling us here at the Take Your Life Back Today show at 844-405-HELP and let us help you take your life back, folks, before your life is gone. There are other people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. Larry Geis will help you go from your addiction to your recovery. He and I always tell our clients it doesn't matter where you come, where you came from. What matters is that you're here today looking for help, seeking help, and we're here to help you. You can Google Larry Geis at www.odysseyconsultant.org. You can call him at 516-458-2741. Larry Geis has over 30 years experience. He will help you from your addiction to recovery, from your low self-esteem to improving your self-esteem, from depression to a better life. He will concentrate on today and tomorrow. He will talk to you, if you'd like, about your past, but the past is gone. Hopefully, you've taken something from the past and learned from it, but you can't change it. You can look for a great today and a better tomorrow. It all starts with you reaching out to people like Larry Geis at 516-458-2741. Let Larry Geis help take care of your life. Folks, Global Eyeglasses, if you're watching my videos right now and it's a little fuzzy it's not the quality of the video it's the quality of your glasses it's maybe that you need a new rx get yourself a new prescription i always recommend to people i have over 30 years experience in the optical field i always recommend to people if you're below 40 to get it every two years once you hit 40 42 43 you get a thing called presbyopia which is uh, do some reading and in between distance and reading called intermediate get it every year not only for your vision but also for the health of your eye get your new prescription and go to www.globaleyeglasses.com they have over 1200 frames plastic metal full frame half frame no frame they have lenses like no line bifocals line bifocals they have transitions which are the ones that change indoor and outdoors photochromatics and polarized lenses if you have a prescription that requires a thicker lens, they can make them thinner. Uh, there are three different steps, 160, 167, 174. If you have children or elderly that have a tendency of falling, go with the shatterproof lens called polycarbonate. If you have problems driving at night with oncoming, oncoming glare, you can go with anti-reflecting coating. There's also UV coating and anti-scratch coating. All this available at GlobalEyeglasses.com, but it all starts with you going to www.GlobalEyeglasses.com. Now, I run this commercial because I've been in the optometry business for over 30 years. I have spoken to Global Eyeglasses, and anyone that calls me and lets me help them place the order, in other words, I can help you with picking out the frame and the proper lenses, I will give you a code to get free shipping. Give me a call at 631-599-0218. And go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money and let me focus on getting you to focus on my videos. Today's topic is 10 ways.
to live a more meaningful life. It can be easy to run through a maze of life without pausing to think of its meaning. Does what I'm doing really matter? More importantly, does it matter to me? Feeling that what you're doing has a real purpose and meaning that matters to you can make a huge difference in your life. It makes getting up each and every day the most exciting thing in the world. You can't wait to get started. Forget trying to force yourself uh, to get to work. It becomes more important to remind yourself to take breaks to eat. The answer is usually complicated. It depends on how many factors there are. Let me talk about the 10 ideas that I have that I believe can help you. Tip number one, or idea number one, know what's important. You need to prioritize yourself. What is important? Know what's important to you. Write down your top five things that you believe are the essence of how you want to live your life. This can include like family time, sing every day. It could also include more complex ideas like honesty, simplicity, positivity. Just write down a list of up to five things. Number two is pursue your passion. I believe everyone should pursue their passion in life. It's what makes life worth living and gives our lives true meaning and purpose. Each time you work on something you love, it creates joy inside you like nothing else in the world. Finding a way to use your passion to give back to the world will give you your life ultimate meaning. Number three is discover your life purpose. If you had to give yourself a reason to live, what would it be? What would it stand for? What principles do you hold high as? Is your life's purpose to help others? Is it to inspire others with great works of art or your great words? Finding your life's purpose is a daunting task and when I first heard the idea, I had no idea where I should even start. For me methods on discovering your life's purpose, Give me a, an email or a text and we will uh, go over a different type of list. Number four is be self-aware. Be aware of yourself and your actions. Remain mindful of what you're doing at all times and make sure that you are living life according to your principles, your life's purpose and what you're passionate about. Review your actions each and every day, taking stock of those who strayed from your path. Work towards correcting any incident in the future. Media, uh, meditation is a great tool for accomplishing these tasks. It helps us increase our self-awareness throughout the day, the week, the year. Number five is to focus. Rather than chasing three or four goals and making very little progress on them, place your energy on one goal at a time. Not only will you alleviate some of the stress associated with trying to juggle so many tasks, you will be much more successful accomplishing that goal. Try and align your goal with something you are passionate about so that there will be uh, uh, an unbelievable motivated drive to work hard to do well, like passionate like I have with uh, doing this show. Number six is people more than things. Often we are faced wanting to buy material goods. I recommend you consider carefully what you purchase and then think uh, more about spending your money on experience with friends and family. Family vacations are worth so much more than a brand new pair of shoes. Not only will this give you deeper meaning to your life by focusing on your relationships rather than material wealth, but you will be a happier person as a result, and that I can promise you. Number seven is live with compassion. Both for yourself and others, keep in mind the following quote. For some, compassion is the purpose of life, what gives its meaning, and what leads to ultimate happiness. Unquote. Number eight is find a way to give back. Do something that both honors your beliefs and passions while giving something back to the world. By giving something back, we inevitably find purpose in the act. By cultivating more of these activities, you will find your life has more meaning and purpose behind it. Number nine, simplify your life. By simplifying your life, you'll have more time to do what fulfills you and gives you um, your life a lot more meaning. It can also help reduce stress and make your overall life easier to manage. It can also greatly improve your productivity throughout the day. If you never tried to simplify things before, it really is a great feeling. 
Number 10 is to set goals daily. This is an important one, folks. In the morning, before you start your day, create a list of three goals that you find fulfilling and meaningful. Make sure that you, they adhere to your set of principles and beliefs. Don't try to make any goals that are not realistic. Tackle the hardest things first. Don't make this list too long. Keep it brief. By placing too many things on the list, you'll feel the urge to multitask, which is never good because when you multitask, you're taking away time from one to help another. Or you feel overwhelmed, which isn't good either. By trying to do less, you'll end up by doing more. Doing all of these things at once may seem daunting, but you can pick one thing at a time, slowly incorporate the ideas into your life, and slowly do one thing at a time. Life is about the journey, not the destination. Living a life of purpose gives both fulfillment to the meaning to your journey. Life is a journey. It's not a destination. It shouldn't be something that we're all just kind of shooting for. It should be something that we strive to get up each and every morning for, to, to enjoy and conquer. Folks, here it is. Another early morning at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, I've showered, fed the animals, and here I am videotaping. My goal today is to do two shows, one now and one in about four or five hours when this one is completed. That is even before I start my day. This is my passion, my compassion, and this makes me feel like I am helping other people because I am sure there's got to be one or two of you folks, and I hope there's more, but only one or two may be sitting out there, that could use a friend, that could use someone, and hear my story of addiction all the years that I've used alcohol. Hear my story of love, hope, peace, faith. These are 10 ways to have a more meaningful life. Number one was know what's important. You have to be able to pinpoint what is the most important to you in the, in, in the world. Write five things on a list, and not more, but five. What are the five most important things? I can guarantee you, number one and number two is going to be family and health. What are the other three? Number two is pursue your passion. My passion was, a few years ago when I became sober, to do websites and shows about alcohol and drug addiction, about the awareness of this epidemic of drugs on Long Island and New York and globally. My passion is just to have you folks hear my story, other people's stories, when I go out and interview them. Number three was discover your life's purpose. What is your purpose? We all are put here on earth for a reason or another. And it's not just to go work from nine to five. There has to be a deeper purpose. What is yours? You can email me at ralph at globaleyeglasses.com and let me know. I'm sorry, not Ralph at GlobalEyeglasses.com. That's the commercial for the eyeglasses. You can email me at Ralph at TakeYourLifeBackToday.show.com. Global Eyeglasses is for eyeglasses, not for me. Number four, be self-aware. Be aware of yourself and your actions. Remain mindful of what you uh, do at all times and make sure that you're living life according to your principles, your life's purpose, and what you're passionate about. Be aware of each and everything you do, be aware of each and everything you say, be aware of each and every person around you and their feelings. Number five is to focus. We cannot focus on three, four things all at once. If you have a project to do, focus on one thing at a time, get that done, and move on. Number six is people more than things. Often we are faced with wanting to buy material goods. I recommend you consider carefully what you purchase and think more about spending your money on experiences with friends and family. Not only is this, uh, will this give deeper meaning to your life by focusing on your relationships that, rather than material wealth, but you will be a happier person as a result. Number seven was live with compassion, both you, for yourself and others. Keep in mind the following quote. Now listen to this quote. Quote, for some, compassion is the purpose of life what gives it meaning, and what leads to ultimate happiness." Unquote. Number eight, find a way to give back. Do something that both honors your beliefs and your passions while giving something back to the world. By giving something back, we all find purpose in the act. By cultivating more of these activities, you will find your life has more meaning and purpose behind 
that. Number nine, simplify your life. By simplifying your life, you'll have more time to do what fulfills you and gives your life true meaning. It can also help reduce stress and make your overall life easier to manage. It can also greatly improve your productivity. If you've never tried to simplify things before, today is the day to start, and it really is a great feeling. Last but not least is this to set goals. In the morning, before you start your day, create a list of three goals that you find fulfilling and meaningful. Make sure they, they adhere to your set of principle and your set of beliefs. Tackle the hardest ones first. Don't make the list too long. By placing too many things on the list, you'll feel the urge to multitask, which is not good. Or you will feel overwhelmed, which isn't good either. By trying to do less, you'll end up doing more. Doing all of these things at once may seem very daunting to you as I read this, but you can pick one thing at a time and conquer it, slowly incorporating the ideas into your life. Life is about the journey, not the destination. We shouldn't be all rushing through life to get to the end of life because the journey between birth and death should be the most exciting thing. Living a life to the purpose uh, of purpose gives both fulfillment, meaning to uh, to the word journey, and we need to enjoy it. And part of that journey of life is just to be a better human. It's to be a better husband, a better wife, a better child, a better grandparent. It's to lead by example within our own family unity, to bring our family together at dinner at night or during family time. For all of us that are out there that have the tendency of smoking, drinking, and using profanity, don't do it in front of your children. Remember, your children look at you as the role model, as the hero. So if they see you smoking, drinking, or using profanity, they feel it's okay because you are doing it. I hope to God that my videos have helped you with your drinking and your drugging problems. But please, I urge you, do not drink, smoke, and use profanity in front of your children. Our society as such has become so involved in... Uh, terror uh, and hate that we need to start at home teaching our children that life can be better by teaching them the best. If you look at my background here on my screen it says life is a journey. Folks, life is a journey. Part of that journey in life is for you to bring up your children to the best of ability. To make the world a better place it starts in your own home. Each and every parent, if they comply with what I'm asking, which is to make your home a better place for your children, to teach them proper values like compassion, love, and respect, they will enter the world, hopefully, with some of those principles instituted in their mind forever. But if you lead by example by drinking and smoking, and using profanity, that's exactly how they will go into the world. Folks, if you start thinking positive, positive things, I promise you, will happen in your life. I always say to reach to your higher power, and I'm a strict believer in that, because if it wasn't for God, I don't know where my sobriety would have uh, gone. I don't know where my life would have gone, because God does guide God, and does protect me each and every day. And I hope he will for you. And I know he will for you, as long as you ask him to. You cannot avoid God. You can possibly try to do your best, but God is watching you. God is uh, uh, with you at all times. It would make your life so much better if you just said, God, God, direct me. Carrie Underwood said it best when she sang the song, Jesus, Take the Wheel, because we all are behind the wheel of life. Let God take over the wheel. Let God guide and direct you. I hope to God, no matter where you are, you have the best day in your life. I hope to God that wherever you are, you have the most sober rest of your life. And I hope and I pray that we all continuously look at one another to help one another, to love one another, so that this world becomes a better place for your children and your grandchildren to live in one day. And may God bless you.